Now I hadn't intended to share this video on my channel because it's actually one I made for a company called Permajet. But if you like printing your own images, I think you'll find it really interesting. It's only a short video, but I show some new papers and how some of my images look on them. There's also a discount code from Permajet giving 20% off this range of new papers and details of that I've added in the description. Right, I'll leave you to watch this video whilst I get on finishing what is officially this week's video. Now there's a saying that a very good friend of mine called Katrine Eisman has that goes, the truth is revealed when the ink hits the paper. And I totally subscribe to that because no matter how good the displays we use, be it on our desktop or mobile devices, a physical print will instantly reveal any flaws. So not only is printing a great thing to do, it's also extremely beneficial in that it will help us to improve as photographers and help improve our skills in the editing process too. Of course though, a physical print is something really special. It's like the final part of the process when everything comes together and in my opinion, the point when everything we've done with all the devices and software we've used, that the image finally becomes a piece of art. Now all that said, I've always been fascinated by how much a particular paper can affect the final print be it in a positive or a negative way. When you print the same image on a variety of papers to really see the difference the papers make, it's incredible how we get instant feedback for what works and what doesn't. And when you find a paper that is perfect for a particular image, it's like night and day difference. That being said though, it is of course down to personal taste. So when Permajet sent over these new heritage papers for me to try out, I was genuinely curious and excited to see the results I would get as they're from the heritage range. The word heritage immediately makes me think of art, not just a photograph, something that I want to last, something that will stand the test of time and that I would want to instantly impress. Now one thing to mention is that each of these papers have a natural white base. They're made from 100% cotton and are OBA free, which stands for Optical Brightening Agent. And not having this is definitely a good thing because over time, the molecules can turn yellow, which can then cause paper discoloration. So let's now take a look at the papers and print out an image for each paper that I think is gonna look the best. So the first paper I'm going to try out is the Smooth Rag. As the name suggests, this has a smooth printing surface with an incredibly subtle texture to it. There's also no shine to the surface whatsoever. Now for this paper, I've chosen this image here, which is one taken by a great friend of mine by the name of Mark Harris. Now this picture already has a timeless feel to it, so printing this on a heritage paper should make it look even more so, but also make it timeless because of the properties of the paper itself. Now there's a lot of detail in this picture because of the dog's fur, but this paper, in fact each of the Heritage Paper's description says that they exude pin sharp detail and also colour consistency. So as with all of the prints I've done for these papers, I'm using my Canon Pro 300 and the Canon Pro Print Layout software along with Canon OEM inks. And that combination never fails to give me fantastic results when using the paper profiles from Permajet or ones I've created myself. And here's the print, and I could not be happier. Definitely a great paper choice for this image. No shine at all on the paper definitely works well, but even though a matte quality to the paper, the detail and contrast is perfect, and the blacks look fantastic, and yes, the detail is definitely there. Yeah, genuinely happy with that. I honestly don't see how it could be better. And that's the first print too, so spot on. The second paper I'm printing on is the Barita Rag. This one, as you'd expect, does have a slight gloss to it. So straight away, I'm thinking of a high contrast image that might work well, and maybe even a black and white. So the one I've gone for is this one. A long exposure photograph taken on my iPhone 14 Pro Max of the iconic Portland Bill Lighthouse. And this is the final print. Again, the first time I've printed it, no adjustments made whatsoever and using the generic profile created by Permajet. The detail is spot on and the shine to the paper, although there, isn't distracting in any way. 
Yeah, that's come out a treat. Now, I might have to see about printing this one on an A3+. Plus. Now, that would be good. Let's take a look now at the etching rag. This has more of a texture to it and again, a non-shiny surface. And for papers like that I've used in the past, the pictures I've printed haven't really maintained all the details and that's because of the texture. So for this paper, I've chosen to print this image. Again, taken with my iPhone 14 Pro Max and this was at West Bay in Dorset. You can see the colors are really vibrant and there's a lot of detail and texture in the sky, on the sand, and especially in the waves. And what I love about the final print is that the detail is definitely there, but this also shows how the paper has, true to the description, reproduced the colour perfectly. Okay, so last one then, and this is the watercolour rag. And just the name pushes me to a much more artistic feel of image. Being called watercolour, unsurprisingly, it makes me think of a painting. So the image I went for is this one that I took with my drone of a lone tree on top of a hill. Now I've edited this so that it does have that painterly feel to it. So that, combined with the texture of the watercolour rag paper, which is more so than the etching, as you can see here, has worked an absolute treat. It's just perfect for this. Colour and detail couldn't be better. And for this image, with the paper used and the editing as it is, you could quite easily think that this had been painted. Of course, as I've said, the final print really is very much a personal taste. But one thing that isn't personal taste when we're doing printing is that we do want the colour and the detail to be absolutely spot on. And with these papers, it really is. I've only used one sheet of each paper and used with the profiles created by Permajet and then in the printing software using their recommended media type, the results I don't think could possibly be better. The bonus though is that because of the papers being made from 100% cotton and being OBA free, they're what you would call archival, meaning they're going to last for a long time when displayed correctly. So that's the writer rag, the smooth rag, etching rag and watercolour rag from the Permajet Heritage range, all of which have a paper weight of 310 GSM and definitely add that high quality, timeless and I guess you could say luxurious look and feel to your prints. I think I'm going to be doing quite a lot of printing. Actually, before I go, that print I showed earlier on, this one just here, is actually one that I took with my iPhone. That's printed on an A3 on FB Pearl, again by Permajet. Very happy. Exciting times.